Hey guys, we're back with another video around innovative decorating techniques. We're in the middle of a series on design innovation, so if you like this video, be sure to check out the other episodes in this series. Today, we're gonna to show you a unique way to incorporate embroidery into your next design. Combining embroidery with a screen print isn't something that you see often, but it's a cool way to get a mixed media effect. Tom from Motion Textile is gonna give you an all access look into a design that does just that. I think the thing is that people think of embroidery in terms of like corporate logo on the left chest of a t-shirt and by doing something like a multimedia design you can do so much more. You can really create a great fashion look by combining in this case screen printing, soft plastisol screen printing with embroidery sewn right over the top of the ink. We're able to do that because again soft plastisol print or the soft hand print really just becomes part of the fabric so it's just like embroidering onto normal substrate but we're combining the two effects to fit together and create a custom look. It was really, really critical that we started with a very simple pattern that was printed on the shirt. When we embroider on top of this pattern, we have quite a bit of latitude with the placement of the embroidery. Um, the embroidery could be a quarter inch in any direction that still is gonna look like it lines up very well with the screen print. What I really like about the effect here is that it's a very tasteful use of embroidery. So we started with the FAM logo, which is nice fine lines. We used a matte white thread, which has kind of an organic look and feel to it. And again, it's just so not corporate. It has a great look to it, very fashionable. To complement the embroidery and the screen printing on the front of the garment, we ran uh, the sleeve print down the right sleeve with the Bella Canvas logo using discharge ink. So again, very, very nice soft hand. The uh, sleeve would be loaded onto a specialty platen, a sleeve platen, of course, and uh, that accommodates for loading the garment on without any stretch. Traditionally with embroidery, we would want to be using a heavier fabric that's going to hold the thread together much better than a lightweight fabric would. Uh, if you are working with a jersey fabric, I would recommend going with a graphic uh, such as a FAM logo that has very, very minimal coverage. Fine lines work really well on a 30 singles jersey. The most common uh, issues that we face with embroidery is trying to uh, and digitize or embroider really, really fine text. Uh, really, really fine lines are to be avoided. Um, the opposite would be um, large coverage areas in the design where you're just putting down massive amounts of thread. So you really want to find the right type of logo for embroidery. So what do you guys think so far? Are these looks you want to try? Also, how are you liking this series on innovation? We love hearing from you, so please comment below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next week.